Okay, Lee, now you can talk. <laughs> I, uh, I was going through uh, some of my father's um, early pictures. And uh, this is his baby book when his, that his mother made when he was born. And, um, and is there a picture of his grandfather? Not his a picture of his... Side? But here's his lineage. So here's my father. Yes. And, uh, oh, that's his father, actually. So that's James Sr. That's Cap Reynolds. Cap Reynolds. <coughs> oh, hi, Lee. Mike. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas, Alice. <coughs> uh, uh, so his grandfather's uh, name was Michael. Was Michael. Was he born in the United States? Was Michael? I think he came over from Ireland. He immigrated from Ireland? Yeah, he had two daughters and four sons. Michael did. And yes, Michael. Uh, your uncle, uh, your uh, your father's uncle, Packy, was the judge, and his father was Cap Reynolds, you know. And there were two other sons so and were two daughters. Two or three daughters. There were. All it was uh, Anne and Mary, and uh, Rena was a cousin. Who? Lena Reynolds was the cousin. Oh, I'm not thinking of Lena. There was Anne and Mary and another one that was married to a, uh, oh, what the heck was her name? There were three daughters. Three daughters of Mary Bridget's I mean, three sisters, sisters to, 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 to um, yeah. You okay. only have, uh, you only have two daughters here. Well, that's Bridget just. Bridget and Mary. Well, that's just his lineage. So that's, that, the, those are in fact Cap's parents. Yes. Here, that's, so that's Michael. And Anne, and then Michael's parents were Thomas and Bridget. So that's going back even further. Um, well, I believe it was Michael that came to this country from Ireland. Okay, so Thomas must have been born and died in Ireland, then, yes. if that was his father. My grandfather on my father's side died in 1918, at the age of 96. Uh -huh. He had three wives and children by each of his three wives. Wow. And he didn't believe in divorce. <laughs> you see, so he just his uh, first uh, by his first wife he had my uncle uh, Joseph, who was a doctor also, and then there was the black sheep of the family, uh, uh, Myron, and uh, then uh, the first wife died. Then he married my my. Uh, grandmother and had my father and his sister by my grandmother and then she died and he married a third time and he had Alice uh, to, who died in Israel a few years ago and then he had uh, Gregorio who went to South America, uh -huh. uh, Uruguay that is, and uh, another, uh, another son, the youngest, who uh, died during the First World War from the flu epidemic at some camp in uh, Long Island called Camp Yapang or something like that. Uh huh. Yeah. So. Uh, so, so, what was your grandfather's name? He was, I, I forgot. Oh, okay. But he was a Pikes, right? Yeah, Pikes. Uh, okay. But he died in 1918 at the age of 96. Huh. He was a doctor in the old Russian Empire. Well, it was Lithuania, but it was part of the Russian Empire. I see. It was five miles from the German border, and five miles further into Germany was the city of Memo. That's, uh, it's now part of Lithuania, but it was okay. part of the German Empire then. So that's, uh, so was he Jewish? Yes. He was Jewish, okay. And, uh, and your, what was your father's name? Nathan. Nathan? Okay. And, uh, and and I, I don't see. I don't know any of this. And your mother, whose name was Mary. That was Mary o o o Sullivan. Sullivan. Yes. Okay, and she was Agnes's sister. Yes, she was your father's aunt. Okay, so that's how your cousins. Okay. Yes. So you, um, who are who are Aggie's uh, sisters and brothers? I don't. Know. Well, there were Alice, Est Esther, Esther, Agnes, Margie, and my mother. And, and they, uh, she had five brothers. One is still alive, James. Jimmy O'Sullivan. In O'Sullivan, he's the he was the youngest, 
and he's still alive. He's 87, he and his wife Ruth. In fact, I spoke to them on the phone today. I see. Wishing them Merry Christmas. Well, do you remember the other brothers' names? Uh, yes, Harry. Uh, Harry. Yeah, I remember Harry. Harry. Frank, uh, the Marine. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, Jack, the eldest, who died in 56 in California, and Mickey, who died in 71 in California. Mickey, was that his real name? Michael. Michael? Okay. Yeah, he was named after his father. Okay. Uh, his, uh, uh, my grandfather on my mother's <laughs> side was Michael O'Sullivan, and his eldest son was named Michael Okay, O'Sullivan. so that's him right here, then. That's yes. What, okay. <laughs> uh, yes. <clears throat> So there, how many O'Sullivans were there? There were there eleven. Or? There were ten children, ten. And, and only one is still alive. Okay. James, he was the youngest, same age as Ronald Reagan, eighty-seven. And es Esther was married to Ken Delaney. I remember yes. that, right? Yes. Yes. And um, of course, uh, Agnes was married to James. Your grandfather. Jim. Jim. Do you remember who the others were married to? Well, Alice was never married, and neither was Margie. Well, Alice had that Chinese boyfriend, right? Uh, kind of New York. <laughs> and the, neither she's was buried in Linden, New Jersey, in the Alice? oriental section of the cemetery. Is that right? Okay. Was, Esther took me to see where she was buried. <laughs> yes. And uh, in fact, Esther. Me and Agnes were the only two. Agnes, your grandmother, were uh -huh. the only three that were married. Oh, Papa is that right? Sarah and Margie were never married. Okay. And uh, Jimmy was married to Ruth, you said? Yes. And uh, uh, Frankie was married to Irene. She died a few years ago. Mm -hmm. She had a daughter and son there in the Midwest now. And. Uh, I guess that's it. Okay. Harry didn't never marry, no. right? Uh, what about, um, let's see. <clears throat> so who, and my, my grandfather's cousin, my grandfather's brothers were who? They were, there was, there was just On one. On your father's side? Right. Well, uh, there were Pack, yeah, Packy. What was his name? Was that his real name? Pack, 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 Pack Patrick, Patrick. We okay. called him Packy. He was a judge here in law. He was, okay. And the other two, I I don't know. I met one of them once when I was a child. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, there's a first cousin, Uncle Mickey's daughter, uh, Michelle. I haven't seen her since 1935, when huh. I was eight years old. Is she She's still alive? Still first cousin. She's still alive in San Luis Obispo in California. Oh, okay. And cousin Mary I'm familiar with. She's in El Cajon, which is right outside of San Diego, California. Yeah. A lot of them live in California. Yes. Two of uh, Uncle Mickey and Uncle Jack went to California. Uncle Mickey was in the motion picture business. He was the chief electrician for the old RKO radio studio. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Huh. yeah, he was a hero in the First World War. Is that right? Do you know what the circumstances were? You know, uh, uh, well, he, he saved uh, uh, some officer's life. Some officer on the troop ship going over to Europe fell overboard, and Uncle Mickey dived in and saved him. Huh. He didn't get the Congressional Medal of Honor, but he got the uh, uh, silver star, you know, sil yeah. silver star, and mm -hmm. stuff yeah. like that, bronze star. Yeah. Or whatever. Now you you were in the service too. You were in World uh, War. Yeah, but uh, not in the big wars. I I was drafted in the Korean War, and I kept renewing my government contract until I 1971. Yeah. I spent a year in Vietnam and a year in Korea, but. Uh -huh. Did you ever oh, see I any? got some. I got some medals, uh, campaign medals, and mm -hmm. so forth. And believe it or not, I received a good conduct medal. Oh, 
Is that right? That's <laughs> all I got. I got no bronze star, no silver star, oh. no purple heart. I was never wounded. Well, that's 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 good. <laughs> Actually, I think I can. Uh, when did you retire from the army? In Seventy-one. Seventy-one. So that was 20 years, sorry? Yeah, 21 okay. years, yes. But there's one thing that always puzzled me. When they discharged me, they gave me an honorable discharge, but they put me in the retired reserve. That means if they ever have the draft again, they <laughs> could draft me before they'll draft the... Oh, really? Uh, well, you may get... Hopefully that won't come to that. I'm 71 years old now, going on 72 next year. And so you were born in 1960, 1937? 27. 27. Okay. Samuel Lindbergh flew across. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and uh, what was your mother's name? Mary. Mary. That was Mary O'Sullivan. She was right the there. eldest daughter. She was, so she, Mary was the oldest daughter? Okay. Yes. And May. And who was the oldest? Let's see. Uh, uh, Uncle uh, Mickey. Mickey was the oldest. Yes. Was no, no, not Uncle Mickey. Uncle Jack was the oldest. He was born in 1886. Okay. And he was a. No, I don't think you. No, you wouldn't remember him. He was last here in '54, uh -huh. and he died in '56. Hmm. It was five years before you were born. Well, do you remember what year uh, Cap Reynolds died? Yeah, 1949. It was 49. And he was he was 59 years old. 56. 56. Okay. So what year was he born? Do you remember? It would have been 1893. It was 93. 1892, I think. Okay. He wasn't uh, 57 yet. And so he. Do you remember what month he died in 56 or 59? 49. It was June or something June. like that. Your grandmother Agnes died on July 4th. Oh, she did. That was 59? Yeah, 59. Was 59. What year was she born? Do you remember? Uh, 1896. She was born in Ireland. That's right. My grandmother made a trip to Ireland and uh, she was born there. I see. Okay, that's because, uh, that's right. It wasn't because she lived there, but because she, yeah, they were on a she trip. She visited her mother there. Yeah. What, do you remember what town that was in Ireland? Limerick. 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 Yeah. Was it it? Yeah, that's what he said. Oh. Yeah. yeah we went there. Mm-hmm. Jim and I went there to visit the... That's right, I remember you saying... the church where she was baptized. <laughs> what well, year you know, was your mother born? Uh, 1892. 1892, okay. What year did she die? 41. 41. Just two days before Germany invaded Russia, huh. June 20th. Interesting. <clears throat> what year did your father die? In uh, 65. Had he ever married again? He never married, no. married, right? You have no brothers and sisters, right? No. I wish I did. Yeah. Uh, I suppose when they saw what I what I was, they wouldn't have any more. Oh, <laughs> in fact, Uncle Harry used to kid me a lot. He said I was born on a Labor Day and haven't worked since. Shit. <laughs> uh, I was. I was born on a Labor Day in 1927, September 5th. Huh. September September fifth. Yeah, that's a Monday in Labor Day. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> well, that's like Michael. He was born on Labor Day, sir. Oh, that's right. But, um, uh, what year did Uncle Harry die? Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen seventy-nine. Seventy-nine. Yes. Okay. Well, that's like Michael. He was born on Although he never married, Virginia was his girlfriend for a long yes, time. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Is she still alive? Oh, yes. yes. We'll get a card from her over yeah. here. We 
you like something to drink, Lee? No, thank you. No? Okay. I'll do my drinking afterwards. At okay. Party. All right. What do you do for Christmas night these days now that Patsy uh, uh, a party? Well, I'm, I'm going to have dinner at the uh, that hotel that used to be the Hilton Hotel. I uh -huh. guess it's the it's one place in all where the restaurant is open on Christmas Day. Oh, is that, it's a Sheridan now? Is that right? Yes. <laughs> and uh, then at night I'm just going to look at TV and go to bed. Uh huh. I don't know about New Year's Eve there. There's uh, nothing too much in all at New Year's Eve. I'd probably go to Boston there. Mm -hmm. What do you do with all the pictures that you take? Well, I, am, uh, I put uh, most of them in albums. You do? You must have a hundred albums. For... Uh, not a, that many, about ten or eleven. Oh, okay. So you say, what part of Canada are you going to see? Oh, I'm going to, I go to Montreal, Quebec City, Ottawa, and then over to Niagara Falls. Uh, I used to go to Toronto, but uh, Toronto doesn't uh, have much uh -huh. attraction for me. It's getting to be like New York City. I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's getting busy. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's, well, New York's pretty safe these days, too, I guess. Yes. Because well, it's been cleaned up since this right. Giuliani became there. Yeah. Have you been down to New York lately? or? Uh, last September. Uh-huh. Yes. What do you do when you go down there? Oh, I go uh, see the sights, uh -huh. go around. Uh, you go to any shows, any plays? Uh, a couple. Uh -huh. Yes, I've been uh, on a tour of... Uh, Radio City Music Hall for uh -huh. the past two years. Uh, how is this uh, this Governor Pataki? Oh, he's uh, no, he's getting criticized a lot because he's sort of robbing Peter to pay Paul, and so a lot of people think he's. Uh, playing shenanigans with the state's budget. Yeah. I think he's okay. He's, he doesn't seem to be messing things up too badly. Yeah. We have a good congresswoman in Louise Slaughter. Uh, we, like, and we like Tip O'Neill. Uh, now, we, now we have, we don't have D'Amato anymore. We have Chuck Schumer, who's going to be our senator. So. Do you have any old stories about uh, Cap Reynolds or Aggie or any of those? Well, <coughs> only one about Aggie. Uh, it was July, July 3rd, 1939. We were just coming out of the Depression. And this Cap Reynolds. That's oh. your Christmas present. And that's uh, a few slices of banana blueberry bread. Oh, thank you, you very home. much. Your yeah. is under the tree. Okay. Very good. Thank I you. left one for Patsy under the tree. Oh, I... all right. Well, you know what? She might come tonight, so why don't we take it with us? Okay. She might come to the party. Do you know where it is? Uh, yes, it's right uh, oh, there. It's a blue... Uh... This? No, no, no. It's a... Uh, in there, it's a bluish... Paper there. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, we'll take it with us because um, I have a present for her too. Okay. I'll, I'm going to put some things on the handout. So, what happened on July 3rd, 1939? Well, she, she, your grandfather Cap uh, liked to celebrate uh, the 4th of July. He bought fifty dollars worth of firecrackers, that, uh, and we would get, uh, the nation was just coming out of the depression then, and that 
Of course, the kids loved it. Mm -hmm. the, the children loved it. Your, your father and his brother and sister. But your mother hit the ceiling when she found out that he spent that much on firecrackers. Well, that was a lot of money back then. Yes. And uh, <coughs> I remember I was there at the time underneath. I heard her in the house. I was outside playing on the yard. And <laughs> they gave him Hail Columbia. Where did they, uh, so they must have shot them out off, off the bank? Uh, yes, off the bank of the river there. Or, yeah. This is for Doris Ford Avenue. Yeah. Do you remember what year they moved to that house? Uh, I think in 1928 or something like that. Mm -hmm. I was, uh, I was just, uh, we were still living in Boston at the time. And, uh, they, it was built, right after it was built, they moved in. I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were the first ones. Then uh, uh, when uh, Jimmy's mother died, uh, he married your mother. Right. She lived there. So where were you living while the, all the Reynolds were growing up at Barrisford Avenue? Uh, well, I was living uh, the first few years in, Lowell, in Boston, then in Lowell, uh, at the Majestic Chambers for a while, at Parker and Pine Street, at, uh, at uh, 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 Grove Street, that's near Walker Street in the Highlands, and then when my mother passed away, I lived with my grandmother on Bellevue Street. And so then, and then I was drafted into the Army, and mm -hmm. both my grandparents died while I was in Korea there. I see. Oh. That's about it. So did you used to visit Barrisford Avenue quite a bit when you were... Sometimes, yeah. yes. When, uh, do you remember when all the Reynolds were born? I know my father was born in 22. That's 22, all I... uh, your uncle Jack was born in 23. Uh, Dick was born in 25. Uh, Jack won 27, same year as I was, six months before me. I see. And uh, Patsy was born in 30, and the youngest, Brian, uh, born in 32. I see. Okay. Cool. How about Dick and Franny's kids? Do you know all their birth dates? <laughs> well, the first one, the girl was born in 53, and the youngest... Uh, Who's the oldest? The youngest girl was born in 61. Well, Don, is that... Is that well, Donna was they born... Had, uh, they had eight girls and one boy. Right. Seven girls and one boy. Seven girls right. and one boy, yeah. Donna, the youngest, was born in 61, and all the others were born in between 53 and 51. No, I think that, that can't be right, because Ricky's a year older than I am, and I know that they, I was born in 61, and Janice was born after Ricky, and so was Donna. Oh. So they must have been born later than that. Sure. What did your father do for a living? He was a lawyer. He was a lawyer. Mm -hmm. What type of law was it? No, in general. General, general. general practice. He had an office down in Lowell? Here? Yes. One in Lowell and one in Boston. Yeah. Uh, were you a Harvard man? No, I went to uh, Colby College, oh. which is where Eddie Colley went. Yeah. And then, uh, then I went to Yale for graduate school. I see. Brian went to Harvard. Yes. <laughs> Both Brian's, uh, and Gail did mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. uh, 
But uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Amy Coletta, you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is her son's name? His, his name is Riley. Right. Um, Riley James is uh, James for his grandfather and uh, great grandfather. And his first name's Riley. Riley is a why is why is it Riley Ma? Oh, I have no idea. They just like the name. Oh, okay. <laughs> Take that book out of the way. Do you want me to take a picture of the tree? Uh, all right. Yeah, you know how it is, Jim. Yeah. Wait, I'll uh, wait. Uh, the light, maybe. Is the light on? Uh, oh, okay. There it is. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's it Has this been working okay for you? Yeah. Oh, except that looks uh, like that broke a little bit. Uh, huh? uh, I've got another one. Yeah, we don't. Okay. You know, if they could, uh, if they could uh, market these camera, this type of camera, say for about ten dollars, <coughs> I think they could. Uh, yeah, well, I think. Uh, I think I bought that one for under 20 yards, the one I gave you uh, yeah. earlier. Yeah. It, uh, I noticed its uh, price in some places is 14 or 15 now, but if they can get it back to uh, down to 9.99 just for the camera, yeah. well, alone, I think they could uh, make a Yeah, as I say, we, the, cameras, the cameras are just so we can sell more film. <laughs> that's, so whatever way we can get the uh, film out the door, that's the vehicle for is it, how much film do you think you have paid bought to put through that ten dollar camera that twenty <laughs> no this uh, this uh, I think it was uh, this uh, charge uh, I got in uh, this and the other one I got in uh, outside of the one you gave me this and the other uh, one the two that I've got now mm -hmm. I bought in Woolworth before it went out of business for about $19. I see. Uh -huh. okay. But now I notice in several places they sell them for about $14.99 or $15. Yeah. If they can get them down to $9.99 just for the camera alone, mm -hmm. yeah, I think they could make a killing as far as sales are concerned. Yeah, well, maybe the sales, but maybe not for money. I don't think they can make them that cheaply. <laughs> they might lose money on them. But uh, as I say, it's, it's primarily so that we can sell film. Uh, well, aren't most of the cameras uh, that Kodak uh, <coughs> puts out so that the, it's the film yeah. rather than the camera? Right, we were much better at film and we'd much rather have you. You know, we wouldn't care if you're using a Fuji camera as long as you put Kodak film in it. Types of film uh, I noticed on the market, but they aren't uh, as famous as either Fuji or Kodak. Right, uh, Agfa has film out there, Konica, uh, yes. and then uh, every drugstore has its own brand too. That's usually made by either Konica or Agfa. Those are the four main film companies: Kodak, Fuji, Konica, and Agfa. What kind of a camera is that? That's a that's a Canon camera. It's a video camera. Oh. So it's like it's like a movie camera. Oh, uh, so just, but it's it records on a cassette tape instead of film. Oh. So, but it's a, it's a very convenient way to uh, cheap way to document discussions like that. You know where I get all that because I'm I'm taking I have a genealogy program. Uh, that I'm using to enter all this data in, this family history data, so that you can print out family trees 
and see how different people are related. And uh, for example, my mother's side of the family, the Stockwell line, is documented all the way back to 1650. So we have all those individuals in the program. And once you've got that, you can, we use the internet now, this, this computer network of, uh, um, to communicate with other people in the family. And I met, I actually met an eighth cousin once removed on the internet just, just two weeks ago, in fact. We descended from, we have a common ancestor back from uh, about 1750. So. <laughs> you, you must have cousins on your Pike's side, too, I would think. Yeah, they're all in the old Russian Empire, you know, with all these revolutions going on. <sighs> uh -huh. yeah, since 19, uh, since the First World War and so forth, a lot of them are <clears throat> scattered off. Over the, those that are still alive, they're scattered all over the world. Yeah. So, so your, your grandfather, the Pike's name, is that, is that a, a it's a Lithuanian name? Yes. Or is Lithuanian? Okay. Yes. Uh, they, uh, he lived in, in the Russian Empire in Lithuania, but five miles from the German border. I see. Well, and what five they... miles inside the German border was the city of Memo. That's the largest city near around the vicinity. It's now part of Lithuania, but it was part of the German Empire then. I see. That was 1918, you said? Was he your, died, yes. He died. he died at the okay. age of 96. He was a doctor, the village doctor at the time. The small he, town doctor. And he died in Lithuania? Or yes, Germany? he died. So he... Where was your father born? Was your father born there? Uh, yes. Uh, and he, and he ever, when did he come to the United States? 1902. I see. He had to, at that time in the Russian Empire, they forbade any Russian subjects from leaving Russia, and those that got out had to get escaped, so to speak, I see. Huh. Uh, from the Russian Empire. So how did he do that? Well, he... Uh, it was sort of like the underground that they used for slaves in the United States. There, they, uh, in fact, that night he had to spend the, the entire night up, uh, standing up with a group of others there before they could huh. get off. So this was under the Russian the border. This, this Merry was under Christmas, the, Lee. Same to you, Jenny. So this was under the Tsar, then? Yes. This was under the Nicholas, right? Yes. Was Nicholas the Tsar at that time? Nicholas II, he was the last Tsar of Russia. Oh, I hadn't realized they were quite that strict. Oh, yes. Oh. Uh, those that did get permission, those few that did get permission, had to have a, a special yellow ticket or something mm -hmm. uh, saying that they could leave oh. Russia. Now, how old was your father at that time? Fourteen. He was fourteen. That was 1902? Yes. Yeah. So he wasn't. He had met your mother by then, right? No, she was no. over here. She yeah, she born was over here. Um, she. Uh, um, so what? Did your? Was he running away, or how? I mean, did did your grandfather? Well, he had uh, he had relatives here. He did. Okay. His, uh, his sister was married to someone over here, and. Uh, so your grandfather sponsored this sort of argument. Well, not my grandfather, uh, uh, but. Uh, his sister and uh, I see. Okay, they helped him. Yes. Well, that's interesting. Realize that. Did they? Did he speak English when he came here? Probably not. Uh, not when he came here. What did, did he speak uh, Russian or? Uh, yeah, Russian, Jewish, Hebrew. Uh, he spoke Hebrew. Uh, okay. Lithuanian. Uh -huh. uh, well, I don't know if Lithuanian has a language of its own. Uh -huh. but did he Lithuania speak? was part of Germany and part of Russia. Okay. So, what, what, when did he meet Mary? All around nine, uh, right after the First World War, around 1919. I see. So they, and they got married. What year did they get married? Twenty-five, I believe. Okay. Okay. Oh, what were you doing? Uh, oh, you're, oh, you're recording, recording this. Recording all this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You want to sit there? No, 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 no. no. I, I didn't know what the table was up for. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah.
Yeah, you can sit there. I'll sit. There. <coughs> it's a little too early to go to church yet. Yeah, I gotta. I thought you said the church was at three o'clock. No, 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 no. Four. Four o'clock. That's where I, uh, I made my mistake. 